All right, tubes. So about once a week, I typically go to the junkyard and nitpick trucks for something I might be able to make work in my truck. Um, this next thing I got from uh, a brick nose truck, or as I call it, the dick nose. I don't know why. I think Adam said it and I just call it that, but it's the brick nose truck. You know, the 87 to 92, I think, model years. Anyways, I... Um, when I was at the last at Todd's place, I we were putting his doors back together and took his map pockets and see if they would fit my uh, doors with my with the bullnose panel, and they do. <laughs> so I went to the junkyard and picked two. They're a little worn, but they're not uh, super like messed up, and they're kind of a nice flexible plastic that hasn't deteriorated um, yeah so I got two of these they're in the exact same condition so um, I think this and plus something else that I grabbed was like $32 There's a bug in my glasses get out of here um, so anyways I'm, uh, I'm happy about this um, all the screw holes are pretty much intact, so I think I'm going to have to make new screw holes in my door here. We'll find out. Um, we may have to go and get bigger screws um, because the old mat pockets in here have been a bit wallered out. I was thinking about getting those plastic insert things and jamming those in and then screwing it in. I don't know. We're going to find out. So anyways, yeah, I got two of these, one for driver and passenger they're not the color I wanted but these are the only this is the only color that was good at the junkyard the whorehouse red so um, you guys will need to suggest a, a dye or a paint that I can use to uh, paint it to the factory color because eventually I'm going to take my panels out and either replace them and then paint them or take the old ones try and condition them and then paint them out take the door panel. This is what I'm going to use to pry the panel back. Works pretty good at the junkyard. You can also never have enough screws. So while I was at the junkyard, I handpicked a ton of screws. I have all the screws for this guy here, and I have tons of screws for the doors, and on uh, newer trucks. Mine doesn't have this. This was added. This little hole here. But you could, on the, the bullnose, not the bullnose, the brick nose trucks, you would screw it in up there. So oh, that'll be good. That was a little loose. I'll probably use some uh, Loctite on that next time. And there's this screw. I'm limited on where I can put you guys. I'm using my truck to charge the camera, so. Now, what I am not too crazy about is having to remove this because I just put new trees on it. Or maybe that's the other side. Yeah, that works a lot better than Doing it by hand. Oh, that's right. This is a used panel I got from a friend. So, and then the dick of it is going to be the seal back here. But yeah, the old uh, old panels were made out of this like rock hard plastic. Really stupid. 
stupid. So first of all, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna fall back. This is gonna look stupid with the uh, whorehouse red. I think I'll be making new screw holes. new screw holes except for one right here so what I want to do the reason why I took the panel off is so we could do the top screws but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the panel back on just back on there and then we're gonna see where this lines up because I want to make sure that the that lower piece is lined up perfectly. This is going to go back up here. I want it flush up against the thing. Probably what I'll do is um, go get the DeWalt and I'll just run a self-tapper right in here just to get it hung and then we'll just do the rest of the holes so now what I want to know is okay so we're gonna miss the old holes that were in this thing so that's good well I, we should have fresh uh, material that we'll run our screws in so I got a whole bunch of screws I'm gonna get all the self tappers that I took and uh, we'll just use those and we'll just not this week so this uses about nine uh, dudes here. Let's get it mostly centered up with the panel here. Dappers. Go find one more. Always be careful when you're doing something like that because this could slip and hit your thumb. You don't you don't want that. So that's all screwed in. I'm gonna add a screw here. I went around to all the brick nose trucks that had these and uh, I took all the screws, every every single one of them at the junk here. Later I'm going to come in and add, I'm, I'm thinking of taking this part of the door that's covered and spraying it in a truck bed liner and then, or just cleaning it up really good and throwing dynamat here, covering this whole hole up, do dynamat back up in here, and then the speaker will have a baffle that's going to go on. And at that point, I probably will hog this out and put a six inch speaker in there, or a six and a half. There we go. I got matte pockets again, and I got really nice ones, not the brittle plastic. So, um, guys, leave some comments and say to give me a advice on a good uh, a good paint, so we can get this matched up to the color of the truck. Otherwise, the functionality is there. So I'm happy about that. Okay.
He's missing two at the bottom, that's okay. There's some stuff here that I'm missing, but yeah, whatever. There's a little flat washer and a spring that would go in here and it would keep the door panel pressed up against this. So once that's painted, that'll that'll look much better, but I like the fact that I have the mat pockets now, it just completes that. I'm gonna dedicate this video to Bamagrad. Bam Bam Bamagrad? Bamagrad. Bamagrad. That's gonna piss him off. He's OCD. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Okay, get back at you here in a moment. Cool, so that one's done. Oh yeah, oh, like I said, I took a lot of screws. And I got this. See, they, they're almost, yeah, they're the same width as the door panel, so yeah. And then, it shuts. I gotta get new Christmas trees for that door. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna get a whole bunch. And then, uh, when, I, when we come back later and upgrade the doors, well, uh, I'll be able to have those doors firmly secured to the door. So yeah, look at that. <laughs> and then this one here. You shut that, yep. Oh yeah, real quick, before we go. Got something out of a truck. This is the uh, la uh, locking dude. Yeah, this is about five thousand dollars from uh, LMC truck. I um, mean, it'll it'll break as soon as you look at it. So this is interesting. Apparently, all you need is a key in there. It doesn't fit, but yeah, you just need a door key in there. Completely different year, different style truck. Well, not a different style, but it was from a bullnose, but different year. Yeah, it's weird. So, let's see if we can. Say you're uh, you're on a road trip. You get your your gun or your camera in there, and you're like, I don't want to be touching it. And then you just like, Adam is gonna be so jealous. <laughs> uh, so this this just goes in the garbage now, or you keep it as a spare. It's almost like you could make it a locking one. All you need is the cylinder to go in there and then you just throw a key in I don't know these are pretty pretty cheap pretty simple so one of the things I bought just for kicks because it was out already out I bought one of those factory skid plate things I have no real intentions of installing it because I know they hang down like five thousand you know it, it, it makes your truck sit as high as a freaking uh, uh, car you know it ends up catching on everything and the part that bends up goes that way. It doesn't go that way, it won't fit. So then you got this big scoop, it's stupid. Anyways, um, I'm real happy with how this turned out. I was able to put my first aid kit in a better spot. So I got my band-aids in there. This is the basic one. I have a little more intensive one in the in my bag in there. Um, but yeah, I was able to take some stuff and put them in my catch-alls. All screwed in, nice and sturdy now. Later we'll probably do some lighting, some LED lighting. I think it'll probably 
I don't know. Todd was thinking red, which I think would be cool. Have that shoot down red as you uh, open the door, but I don't know. I know like a light right here. So when you open this up, there's a light and maybe a reflector. Um, like you would have on a newer car so that someone driving by sees that the door is open. There's a reflector there that the light catches. But yeah, I was pretty pretty happy about finding that. I went ahead and locked it. Just cause, you know, color in the interior is a little bit mismatched, but the functionality is there and I like it. Uh, you know, I'm happy with it. That's all that matters. Um, you know, when you're doing this kind of stuff, if you're building it for somebody, yeah, you would take care of the color. <laughs> but for me, I just need my functionality. But yeah, I thought it was funny that that transfer case, uh, the skid plate protects the uh, transfer case from getting, you know, hit by a rock or something. But I don't know what they were doing when they they have it stick down like so far. Like I put I put it on here just just because. And uh, by the way, the bolt holes are already there for it. So. I'm gonna make my own skid plate, but so you know, the skid plate that I'm gonna make is just gonna barely clear the transfer case. It's gonna be a low profile skid plate. That way it's not too much further down from that uh, cross member there. In fact, I, make, I may make a plate that goes from here to about there, goes underneath the skid plate. But anyway, so you put the factory one on and it hangs down to like here and so <laughs> then you only have this much <laughs> ground clearance. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm gonna make a I'll make a custom skid plate to help with some friends. But oh yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how my interior is right now. It's it's cozy. Um, I don't know if I showed this, but I put my things back there. But I got this, I got this carpet back here, and it was from a truck that had a similar color interior. So I got the carpet in here. It has insulation behind it. So I like that. I put sound ending back up in here. That was from a bull nose truck. It's from a diesel truck. And then I got these. Later I'll do uh, when we do the power windows. Convert over to that. And I'm, what I'm going to do is, back, back behind here, is put dynamat or peel and seal or something and insulate the doors. And then sometime in the future... See how far up... Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'm good on the firewall insulation. And what I want to do is take my dash top off and see how far it comes up. Or actually, I probably have some videos of this off I can show how far the insulation comes up because I want it to come up all the way uh, past the AC box so yeah and then I've got my uh, exhaust manifold on the, on the 4BT I want to wrap up I have exhaust wrap for it I just got to get get to doing it so um, yeah nice let's see what was the other thing oh yeah so you guys know that my belt's been squeaking really bad. Well, I took the belt off this morning. Got the belt off, took a, a little wire wheel thing for the drill. I took that and put it up against the grooves of the pulley and uh, a lot of like oily crap came out. It was like nasty, like rusty, oily crap. I was like, what the hell? It must have been residue from the old belt dressing I put on there, like an idiot. Anyways, I cleaned it up and fixed the belt. What? You know me, don't hit your dude. Just like totally hit himself on everything. A bunch of monkeys. Anyways, Tubes, Johnson out.